This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is your perfect place to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. TV, more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very impromptu video. I actually decided to do this video about 12 hours ago. I saw something pop up on Joe Macari's Instagram and I was driving past there right now, so I thought I'd pop in and go and take a thorough look at these two new arrivals. Now, undoubtedly, probably two of the most special Porsches Porsche have ever created, and they're both here at the same time. They've just come into stock at Joe Macari. I've brought my 996 along. I was driving it today anyway. I brought my 996 along, along with its whole host of new mods, which are already on the channel. But without further ado then, I'm gonna jump inside and I'm gonna go and take a look at two very special 959s that have just arrived. So let's go. Here we go then, inside the Dream Factory, Mr. Joe Macari's, uh, in Southwest London, in Wandsworth. If you haven't been here, uh, it's well worth checking out their website, see what they got in stock. And by all means, come and have a look if you're in the, in the market. But what Joe does here really, really well, is he just gets the most iconic classic cars in probably the best condition you've ever seen. He's literally got everything here. I filmed here before, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but just look here. A row of extremely special cars. I mean, that's a Mura SV. Down the hallway down here, but just classics as far as the eye can see. The iconic modern stuff from Ferrari, we've got a Defender in here, we've got 430 Scud, 458 Spider, Lusso, classic Mercs, we even have a Ford GT here as well, some other bits from Bob's, but all very well and good, all of this stuff, and as amazing as some of this is, I'm a bit of a Porsche guy, so without further ado then, let me introduce you probably to two of the most special Porsches I have ever, ever seen. <laughs> First off the bat then, one of two cars that's just come in, one of the two 959s that has appeared in Joe McCarys is this Porsche 959 Sport. Now this is a 1988 car, it's only done 2,600 miles and it's recently, recently had a hell of a lot of work done to it. This is about as good as it gets. Many of you will be aware that it came in sport or comfort specification. This one is the more desirable sport specification. I don't think I've ever actually even seen one of these in the metal before. Finished in red here with these cream wheels. They look white on my terrible camera, but these are actually cream. Cream on red doesn't work on many cars, but it works perfectly on this. And you can tell it's a sport version, obviously here. So a little bit of background then on the Porsche 959 for those uh, younger members of my community and also those that aren't fully aware of how important the 959 is to Porsche history. It was actually launched at the 1985 Frankfurt Motor Show, although loads of delays meant that the car wasn't actually built and didn't actually start hitting the roads till around 1987. As I said before, you could option it in comfort or sport. And what the 959 did, it was actually extremely technology advanced for its age. It featured a 2.8 litre twin turboed flat six engine with a manual. List price of this car when it came out new was around 300K. It's actually said that Porsche lost money on every single one of these that they made. And as I've just learned, only 29 sport cars were actually produced. This upped power to 508 brake horsepower. That is 60 brake horsepower more than the Comfort version. And it is actually said to have done 211 miles an hour. Now back in 1988, that is ridiculous. So it's an extremely rare car, one of only 29 and probably even less now. There are around 330, 340 959s built. So only 29 of them being in the sport specification is extremely rare. Really cool to have that here. And it wasn't just a power hike 
with the sport version. It was also a bit grippier and there are things like roll cage, harnesses and whatnot inside. And you can see it's slightly more sporty than you potentially get from the comfort version which was just leather inside with leather seats. This has got this kind of cloth finish and it literally looks like brand new in here. Well it would be, it's 2,600 miles. So not only grippier, so not only more grippy, more sporty inside, more power, but also the Sport is actually around 100 kgs lighter than the Comfort Edition as well. Coming around the back then we can see where the engine is in here. This is the engine. Now it's worth noting that this owner has spent well over 100,000 pounds restoring this car. That's why it looks absolutely brand new. Not only that, he's also done the Wilrath engine upgrade, which pushes the power by about another 100 horsepower. So this particular variant is running around 600 brake horsepower and literally looks like new. I mean, cars leave the factory looking like this. Absolute time warp condition. So yeah, 600 brake horsepower, twin turbo, Flat six, 2.8 litre with a manual gearbox. I mean, that is hell. The various other upgrades that have been done to this car with Porsche Specialist Auto Works back in 2018. The full spec is on the Joe Macari website. And if you need to ask the price, let's just say it is in millions. It's on price on application at the moment. So serious, serious people only. But yes, it is in the millions. And I don't see that being a bad use of money. If you've got that lying around, I think this will rise and rise and rise. This is an extremely important part of Porsche history. And is of course the precursor to the Carrera GT, the 919. And the precursor to this car then is sat right next to it. And there's the one you're probably all here to see. It is indeed the 959 Dakar rally car. Now there's lots of things to note as part of Porsche's history and whatnot and how this came about and then led to that car there. But this is actually a 1985 car. So we need to take it back to 1983 then at the Frankfurt Motor Show. Once again, Porsche indicated their intentions of joining the Group B Rally Series by unveiling a concept car that featured a twin turbocharged flat six engine paired with this kind of dramatic 911 styling. The engine they actually unveiled at the 1983 Frankfurt Motor Show would be later featured in the production 959s. However, to meet the Group B rules of having 200 homologated road examples, the rally model was initially built from a highly modified 911 SC that featured a 3.2 naturally aspirated Carrera engine. So they don't actually have the same engine in them, these two. You would think they do, both being 959s, but they don't. And that's what a lot of people don't realize about these things. And around the same time, Porsche's driver, Jackie Ix, actually stated his intention that he wanted to drive in the Paris Dakar rally. So Porsche entered three heavily modified four wheel drive versions of the 911 SC RS in the 1984 Paris Dakar. This then is one of those three cars. The rally was 7,500 miles, no less, and probably the most brutal terrain. If I can find some footage, I'll put that on the screen now, just to kind of give you an idea of what those cars came through. But this was one of those very cars, and it's actually still wearing some of the dust from that event, which is absolutely incredible. It really is literally like it's been plucked and just dumped here in 2020. So in that year, then, they actually placed first, sixth, and 17th in a maiden year for Porsche in the Dakar Rally. That was an incredible achievement and really, really put them and this car on the map. Porsche then followed up a year later, but those three cars that they followed up with the year after that actually all retired due to mechanical issues. They then returned with their turbocharged variant and romped through to a one-two finish with the 959 Rally car. And this car undoubtedly paved the way for that. And in 1987, it was actually all discontinued due to a number of deaths of drivers and spectators for Group B Rally. So that was the end of that. And in total, only seven Porsche development 959 Rally cars were ever made. And this being part of the formative three cars that's kicked off the whole thing is probably one of the most important parts of Porsche motorsport history you can kind of get. So it's really, really cool that that's here. And it's really cool that the kind of road version that it led to is here as well. And they are both for sale. I believe they both come from the same collection and they're now available. So if you've got the readies, please, please, please come and buy these. And this particular car back in the 1985 race actually held the lead for a large chunk of it before it hit a large rock and then was forced to retire from the race. Obviously that has been repaired and it's actually been kind of documented around the world at various car events and it's been in a private collection abroad and is now here in the UK. Very cool documented history and the driver's names indeed are still on the roof. Mental to think that this car did miles across the desert with two guys sat in here. This was a different time. This was 30 something years ago. Absolutely crazy. This then really is the ultimate all wheel drive Porsche and this is the ultimate 
all-wheel drive road Porsche as well. So really cool to have them together and hopefully you found some of that interesting. I wanted to come down here and check these out anyway on a personal level because I just love Porsche and I've never even seen one of these on the road, let alone both of them together. So hopefully you found that interesting. And my plan was to get the Carrera GT down here and park them near them. Final thing then before I go, price on this one. Again, if you have to ask, and it's probably not for you, uh, but it is in the millions and it is more millions than the red one. And for the pair, well, you'll just have to inquire. Please don't bombard Joe Macari with asking how much they are. If you're really, really not in the market, as I say, they are millions. They're absolutely and completely out of my reach. Potentially a 959 Comfort, maybe within reach to me at some point. They're not an easy car to look after. You need to buy the right car and you need to enlist the help of experts to help you find the right car that's been looked after in the right way. So potentially a 959 Comfort for me, but the cream of the crop like this is completely out of my reach. So again, don't troll me telling me to get a 959 Sport because I really just don't at the moment have the readies, probably for even one of the wheels, let alone the whole car. So then as I touched on the beginning of this video, this video is brought to you with Squarespace. If you don't know about Squarespace by now, and you should do because it's featured on enough of my videos, Squarespace is basically the perfect place to develop your own beautiful website. Whether that's to indulge a passion or whether or not that's to start a business, Squarespace is your perfect place to do it. And there are a number of features which allow you to do this efficiently and with great effectiveness. So if you have been waiting to set up that business or set up that website, now is the perfect time. And there's an amazing special bit and there's an amazing special offer with this video too, so make sure you get involved in that, and of course, the links will be below. So one of the features that enable people to launch their website and business with ease is what I like to call their backloading feature. You can actually store content in the background. If you have like an afternoon off and you're able to do a load of work in the background, you can store that on the website, and then Squarespace's tools will allow you to time release that out onto your site. There are blogging tools on there that link into your social media too, so it will feed through all your social posts onto the website too, and that all fully integrates. There are really cool analytics tools on there as well, so you can monitor who's sitting, who's hitting your site, when they're hitting your site, what their demographic is, what their gender is, uh, how long they're on there for, what the popular pages are, the bounce rate, all that kind of stuff to really drill down and make sure your site is really, really effective. Another really key thing that you're able to build into your site with Squarespace is a subscription tool. Subscriptions are a really, really great way to build value in your business and generate recurring income. We do this with one of my businesses, Crep Chief Notify, and that is on a monthly basis. It's really easy to set up, and Squarespace's tools to take you straight through that all. One of the other tools that's really, really good with Squarespace as well is email campaigns. Now, I know many of you will receive marketing emails all the time, but there's a reason why companies do that. It's because it works, and the Squarespace enables you to build efficient, effective email campaigns too. So you can build that in, target people around releases. Certainly we do that again with Crep Chief Notify around specific releases that come out. Uh, we do it with LGNM around payday. We put special codes out and all the rest of it. Really, really important part of running an online business. If this sounds up your street and you're ready to get going with your online store or your website, make sure you hit the link below for a free trial right now. And when you are ready to get going, there is an exclusive discount as well. So make sure you hit that link. It is a limited time offer. Get in the mix and keep me posted with what you will create. That is it then from me and from Joe Macari. Do check out their website. As I say, I've just covered the kind of basic details on the car, but there's loads and loads more cool history behind both of them to go and check out. It's all in the listing anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe, blah, 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 and I'll see you all very soon. Bye now. Bye.